Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Now we are going to discuss MVC architecture. MVC architecture from the subject Object Oriented Programming through Java. Oops, through Java. R22 syllabus. Fifth unit. From fifth unit you will get direct questions. Second chapter Swings. Here Swing is a lightweight Java application that is used for graphical user interface. GUI, graphical user interface. X axis, Y axis. In the window you will be having the application. So that is used to create application softwares. For example, window, where should we have window in the desktop? For example, in this desktop, where we should, should have the window, user, username, password, for example, Gmail. For JN2 website, where should we have the tabs? So that will come under graphical user interface software. In that, we will create buttons and we will create scroll bars, vertical and horizontal scroll bars and combo box, etc. Here, for that we use this line, Java X library dot swings package, X stands for extension, right? Example classes used in swing classes are J button, J radio button, J menu. Here J is capital, B is capital. That is a rule, syntax, naming convention. For Java is a case sensitive language. Wherever necessary capital letters, we need to keep capital letters in our program. Wherever necessary small letters, we need to give small letters. J stands for Java button. Create buttons, OK, push, cancel like buttons, Java radio button, J menu, like that, etc. Classes we will be having in Swing package. In that classes, we will be having some methods, functions like add, set to visible. S is small, V is capital. I told you, no, Java is case sensitive. Methods, first, letter, first word, first letter should be small. Second word, first letter should be capital. Set to size, set to layout, etc. With these methods and with these classes, with this package, we will create the application software. So before that, this is the overview and introduction of the MVC architecture. Before that, we need to have an architecture for designing a software, a pattern. This is the MVC architecture. This will be used for all other programming languages like Python, .NET. But Java is the flexible and robust king of all programming languages. So here MVC architecture, nothing but model view controller model view control data models so here for example end user end user will operate through viewing the application and will send some commands programs are touching the screen will control the backend database so this is the architecture draw the architecture neatly and explain it see here user user interacts with the view by seeing the view view of the window for example if you open j into website so this uh, when you click on here so this we will view and we will control this backend. So backend we will get academic calendar, JNQ, uh, uh, other results, PhD results, anything like Amazon also. Even in Amazon, Amazon or book my show. If you want to ticket, book a ticket. This is the front end window. See, this is the front end window which we will see. When you click on this, we will get a other application like we will operate and we will control the window. So viewing the window and uh, request process, we will send a request to the controller and it will send it to model. So asking model to provide data. So viewer, end user through controller will send to database to ask some data. So model will send a request, request uh, data to the database. This is a backend database will be there, server. Here we will we'll control through a client through browsers, some browsers, some apps. Through the apps and browsers, we will interact with the backend database server. So here it will send the respond data from the database. Whichever data it will require, it will send. If you are purchasing some clothes, some accessories from the Amazon or if you are booking a ticket, that relevant data will send. If you are downloading academic calendar, from j website or any, any other website, IRCTC, railway ticket booking, bus ticket booking, whatever website. So these are three tier architecture and four tier architecture. I will, I will tell you the example also. So responding data from the database, then uh, returning the data, it will return to the data. See, this is a bi-directional and uh, rendering, rendering means generating, gathering, taking the content, content means data, relevant data to the viewer and it will again send it to the user who will sit in front of the computer, he will access the data. 
so here we have three structures for designing any software these are patterns or architecture for designing a software i told you know with this uh, practical lab we will create softwares this is the architecture a structure a diagrammatical exp uh, explanation pattern for designing software we have three structures that is viewing and controlling and modeling the data so three logic parts for example we will sit in front of the window that we will see front end the front end we can create through jsp java server pages and middleware sublets will be there in the java family and back end is oracle sql structure query language that is back end is nothing but database we will create data and we will access data this is java family if you are creating from the dot net asp is a front end active server pages and c sharp is a middleware language and mysql mysql structure query language or a uh, sql server any database you can use oracle or mysql uh, sql server this is oracle corporation company designed database this is microsoft so here front end you can use html php javascript front end creating web pages and middleware we will be having a language and back end we will be having database so controlling the database so i will i will show you with other examples like if you want to purchase any item from the amazon for example you will click somewhere items so you will open it so viewing is the, this one and controlling the doing the operation and the object we will get that is the back end that is a back end right right neatly in the exam all the best